I'm on a mission to get myself a fire cape within 45 days of membership with one major catch. I'm not allowed to play for more than an hour each day. I'm going to have to find ways to circumvent many of RuneScape's grinds in order to achieve my goal on time. Things like spending hours at Sandcrabs simply isn't viable, and every day the clock ticks closer and closer to when we have to face Jad. Is this even a possible goal, considering I'm generally pretty bad at the game to begin with? How do I use a grand exchange, and all my experience in-game comes from playing Iron Man? Will I lose my sanity or hair during this process? Find out in today's episode of One Hour Limit Locked. Hey everyone and welcome back to episode 34. I am recording this intro a bit early today, an hour or two before I'm actually going to be recording because there is currently a game update going on. So I planned to do this about an hour ago and then saw there was an update coming and I was like, oh shit. Usually the updates are Wednesday and it is Tuesday today. I was planning to use Tuesday to prepare for the update tomorrow because I had a plan. But I don't know if there is an update tomorrow now or if it's just today. So I'm going to try and enact the plan without prep, but it's time sensitive. So, we're going to see whenever it lets us log in, basically. I'm going to be just trying to log in as much as possible. And whenever I can, I'll turn the camera on. <laughs> Which is why I'm recording this uh, a bit early. But yeah, hopefully the hopefully we can get some rune items to sell at the shop in Nada. Because after a game update, it will be a completely fresh stock. So if we can get there, like, within the first 5 or 10 minutes of the server coming back up, I think we should be in a pretty solid position to sell off most of the rune plate skirt, plate legs, and chain bodies for a decent bit of profit there. Uh, it mainly depends. You know, it mainly depends if we can actually get those rune items quickly once we log in, because I was planning to, like, put the offers in at the end of today's session so that tomorrow I could log in at Nada, collect all whatever's bought from the GE, and go straight to the shop, but... Yeah, is what it is. Anyway, I'll stop rambling for now and see you whenever I am allowed to log back in. I was not all prepared for this. I was eating cookies and watching a YouTube video, but we're in, we're in, we're in. Let's see if we can get what we want to get. It came back earlier, 20 minutes earlier than expected, so... Not plate body... Plate legs... Uh, if we can get them at that, then fantastic, but I don't think we will. Don't even have the money. Room plate skirt... I'm just gonna put 38k in for each. Okay, I'll do the same thing there. And then I think 30k for the chains. Pfft, shit, I only got one of them, not 30. Okay, rune chain. Put them at 30k. We don't have the money because it's in plate skirts that we're not getting. Rune chain. 30k. Excellent. Okay, we got some stuff. Just get a couple more of these, as much as we can out of it, and then we'll get our ass down to Nada. So we probably want water skins and a glory we've already got on. We need a little bit of cash, which we've got on us, so off we go. I, I didn't start the clock. Three minutes. Three minutes off. There we are. Start the clock. Took myself like an extra 10 seconds off it, but wait, where is it? Okay, <laughs> wasted even more time. Hopefully, someone hasn't somehow got here before me. Obviously, we didn't get like that much here. Oh, my fucking water skin's a nerd. Did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Oh, can I? I can run that, that's fine. Don't know why one didn't work on that. Two pollen each. Okay, I can eat my cookies while I'm on this carpet ride. <laughs> Before I saw there was an update coming, I was actually planning on doing crystal keys today. So, I might end up going to that after we sell for all these. 
which shouldn't take us too long because we shouldn't have much competition unless people are already there doing it that were prepped for it like I was planning to be for tomorrow. Which obviously is a lot easier for other people to do because they can just prep for it as they see that the update is coming. We are uh, limited to only one hour a day, don't have that luxury. This puts right next to the shop as well, that's so good. Alright, moment of truth, we've got this one. Okay, so I think I can sell one per world if they're all open. If it hops, jeez. What is going on? Oh no. I'm gonna pause the clock while my client fucks up. Cause I might have to just restart it here. It's not looking good. I have no idea. I've never seen anything like this. Oh! Did we just get in somewhere? And then it said please wait again? Okay, we're in, we're in, we're in. Okay. Play. <laughs> Been a weird start to this one. Weird start to this one. Hopefully the next hop doesn't take six years. Are we... okay. I mean, they are slow hops, but... At least didn't freeze my climb out. I was about to close it. Every world so far has been free, so we should get some decent profit here. 38k goes to uh, the play. They both sell for 41,600. We bought them. Oh no, wait, sorry, we got the chain body, didn't we? Another play it's good. Uh, the chain body we bought for 30k, we make 2,500 profit on everyone we sell. The other one we bought for 38k, we make 3,000. 600 on each sale and my hops are now going slow again <sighs> maybe i should reboot my client i am gonna reboot my client i'm gonna pause it and oh just soon as i do as soon as i pause the clock it fucking works for some reason and then it hops again because it registers the one that i tried to do when it was broken i don't know what's wrong with this thing and now it's taking ages. Yeah, I am just gonna... Literally, as soon as I pause the clock, what the hell? <gasps> oh, I'm sorry that this is looking so butchered. There's not much I can do about it, y'all. I think maybe the worlds are just like still coming back up slowly, so maybe not all of them are allowing me to hop in them straight away. I don't want to jinx it, but it seems better now. To be honest, I don't think this is going to take me that long at all to offload them. I may go back to the GE and do another trip of it. So all the worlds are completely empty. Obviously, there could be somebody else doing the exact same thing as me right now, hopping through from a different point, who knows? But right now, they all seem clean, and it seems silly not to invest as much as we can in it. I guess it's a really good money maker when they are all clean. So I think once we'd collected things at the start of the day, we had about 2.4 mil. I might be a bit out, but we've passed that point now, and we've still got, uh, like, one plate legs and seven bodies, I think. So we are very much in the green. Obviously, the more we could come here with, the more profit we'd make, because we'd cut down on travel time. But you can only buy 70 of each of these items on the GE every four hours, so we could do another 40 each of these and 70 plate skirts theoretically if we could buy them. Although obviously we'll lose in a lot of time by having to do extra hops if we have them in uneven amounts, so perhaps not the best planning on my behalf there. That being said, I didn't plan to do this today, I plan to do it tomorrow, thinking the update would be on the regular day rather than a different one for no apparent reason. Anyway, we have 2.7 mil, that's very nice, I'm gonna get straight back to that. Straight back. Okay, we get these for 38k each, we can get uh, 40 of them, we can get rune chain. I'm actually gonna see if I can get the plates first. 
38k we'll try. I don't know why the plates get start buying. 38, 100 maybe? It'd still be a decent profit, I just can't get any right now. Crazy. What if we do 38, 500? It's still profit. Okay, those bought for 38, 300, I can take that. Beautiful. Now we've got ourselves some skirts. Okay, we are gonna go to get a quick little reset here. Theoretically, we could make a third trip to do the rest of the plate skirts and the rest of the chain bodies because we'll be done on plate legs, I think. Or oh, damn it. Not ideal, you'd rather do it with all three at once, obviously, so it's less hops, but we're just buying what we can here. This might get us up to about three mil, which is very nice indeed. We're, we're on 2.7 before this investment so ooh, I think these are the ones I might have been I might have come across ones I was selling to because it there was no plate skirt in that one but the other two were there I think I'm on my own worlds here so I'm gonna jump a bit deeper yeah much better because when there was the shenanigans with what world hopping happening and taking it ages it, it ended up jumping me around all over the place because it did extra hops that registered while the game was frozen. It's weird, but is what it is. We did lose a couple minutes, because there's actually currently less time on the clock than the amount of time that I've been recording, so I've lost like a minute somewhere. I guess when I logged in and didn't hit the thing, I set it too low, but I didn't think it was that bad. But yeah, not being the most efficient start, however, the fact that we have managed to find these worlds at an empty time is very, very good for our cash stack. It's going to be a super huge boost, so worth the mishaps along the way. And it's a bit of a change of pace. I always get very aware when we do the same activity ad nauseum. That is a very RuneScape thing, but when you're making a video every day, it's, it's not, probably not the best for the content. <laughs> So, always nice to do little things. That's why I was planning to do crystal keys today. I basically, there's a money making guide page on the wiki for those who don't know. Uh, and you can like sort the list by just like GP an hour or, for, or whatever and then search for it. I basically like check up on that every day around 30 minutes to an hour before I'm planning to record. And if there's anything interesting that's like risen in prices or whatever, then I try it out. Uh, crystal keys are decent at the moment, that's why I was going to do them today. The actual price of crystal keys is not that great, but you can save a key, one KGP per key by putting them together from the halves yourself. And you could already make like a mil an hour if you were just buying the keys at the not great rate, so... Oh shit, I think I just sold to a world that already had some. I think it might have been a world that I was in as well. Yeah, I'm back in a chain. Oh fuck. Have I been to all the worlds? I should have my, um, I should have all of them on. That might help. Okay, let's go to a random American world, because I know I haven't been there. And nobody else has it either. This is good. So far my only competition has been worlds that I already visited. <laughs> Because I can just tell by what items are there. Ooh, all full on that world. Is that one that I visited twice? Or just the chain missing? Okay, I think I'm getting into territory where someone else might have been through. Ooh, full. I think I need to just skip the German and English worlds because I've already been through them all. Down to just legs now. And there's the last room plate legs just shy of 3 mil. I am going to reinvest. So we got 35 plate skirts, we've had, we need one more plate, oh no no, we've had all our plate legs, we need 30 chain bodies, 35 plain skirts. Excellent, I think that's right, 35 plus 35, 30 plus 40, cool, we are fully invested now. I'm gonna shove just a couple of these into offer while I am away. See if we get them. Cool. 
Right, we need a new glory and wealth because we're out of both. Don't have a glory. So that's going to have to get bought. Get a couple. And we'll sell that old one. We will wear this new ring of wealth. Sell the old one. Get this stuff back on. And back we go. Last trip. Oh, I didn't reset. I'm gonna just get a stamina from the bank at Shanty. We should be okay with that. We've only got to run across Pullman Beach. And it could be active while I'm on the carpet. I'll just drink like one dose of an energy pot as well. Okay, we've made some really good money so far today. Almost 600k, I think, so we'll be looking at near, near a mil by the time we're finished with this. And that might be in like 10 or 15 minutes, so we'll still have a little bit of time left on the end of the day to do some other stuff as well, whether it's Crystal Keys or we just go chill at Green Drags for a bit, whatever it happens to be. I don't feel like my run energy recharge. Maybe I took that stamp at the exact wrong time. It was on like 30 before. I think I just wasted like a minute of a stamina dose. Oops. Swords out there killing crocodiles. The hell? 30 minutes off the server launch. That's what you came back and decided to do. Okay. Fingers crossed we get. Uh. Oh, is that the super secret world? It just logged me out. The fuck game. I can't believe that just logged me out. That's so BM. It hopped me into a world that I'm not supposed to be able to join and then locked me out. What a troll. Oh, well, there's some two half of keys. Hopefully we get both half supplies, they will be sat there. We can always up our prices a bit, they will though. I think that was more of the same though. Pretty sure it was two half last time. This would have been way, way, way more efficient if I'd done all three at once, but... I think I'm on my own worlds again. It's looking like the two halves are gonna buy, but the loop halves might not, so... Okay, all the two halves bought. Tell you what, if my man Sedu just made a little little trip over to the Grand Exchange, save himself a shit ton of money. Just needs a ring of wealth, doesn't he? Oh, fuck. Shouldn't have sold to that world. Probably got a few left of them out. Okay, that's the last trip of those done for the day. Doesn't look like we made much money on that trip, but it's actually because I put like 700k worth of offers into the GE, so yeah, if we just uh, very quickly put all the coins and all the two halves up, we're at about 3.15 mil, so maybe not that great, but uh, we still made some profit on that last trip. Okay, let's see if we can get ourselves some loop half of keys for 10k? No. Loop half. 10, 2, 2, 4, that's what it says. Some of them. Okay, let's go to the light. Oh, they were buying actually then. Let's go to 10, 300. I'm fine with that. And get tooths as well. For whatever they were buying. Oh, they're not buying now the loops. What's going on? So backwards. Oh my gosh. Okay, how many of each do I actually have? Alright, seven th I need twenty-three more loops. Okay, ten three fifty. Please. Please. Okay, there we got some. I don't know, I'm just gonna start taking them, hope the rest buy. Still got a few house tellies, so good on that regard. Do we have a jeweling ring on? No, we don't. And we should bank our gear. Alright, we did get the rest of those loop pass. We won't have saved as much money putting the house together as we would have hoped, but it's still gonna have made us a little bit extra than we would have got otherwise. Not really what I wanted to see though. No rune bars, but what can you do? Just putting the rest of these keys together while I'm here. God damn, these keys have been treating me absolutely garbage. So many just, just dragonstone drops. Uh, shit. Maybe I brought too many. I can only have one more house telly though, so I need to 
Go back to the G on the next one. Get some more, unfortunately. Okay, a couple more room bars on that one. Okay, we've only got five keys left. Uh, do I just invest in more? Those are the ones I was struggling to get. I got them at 10,400 and the other half at 10,470, which is almost 21k, which I think crystal keys are like 21,400. But the extra time, it's 21,200. If I can get them for 21,225, I think I'd just buy them. We'll see if any of those buy by the time I've made this trip. If not, it's no biggie. Okay. Back to the GE, I guess. It was a very quick trip. Did get one extra key out of it, but... Alright, uh, so let's sell all this garbage. Hopefully we actually make some profit and didn't just lose a bunch. Because it didn't seem that good. Okay, let's tear these off. Okay, the one crystal key actually just instant sold. So I'm wondering if it might be prudent to to make them up. To buy the halves and just make them up and sell them. Because they were buying for overprice. That crystal key... 21219 is what I made out of it. So if I get my loop halves for 10400 and the other halves for 10470, I'm only making like 300 GP each. It's probably not worth. Right, we better hope that shit sells. I think we've just lost some money there. Made a bunch of money at the start of the day. Oh no, shit, no, we're good. <laughs> There was 400 still in the bank. Never mind, we're good. Yeah, we're at like 3.1 mil. Hopefully this shit sells. I'm gonna make a very quick trip out to Green Drags. And then we'll probably end up back at the GE. See if we can get an offer back in for a blowpipe. With hopefully some more of that shit sold. Off we go. Hopefully I'm not in a really busy world. Don't think I am. Actually, I remembered my stamina today, though I didn't reset my run energy at Ferox. It's been a pretty good day. It was like it's felt a bit weird, just like uh, getting set up and stuff today, because I was just about to record, and then I saw the update coming, and then oh shit, what happened there? Okay, there we go. Yeah, it was an odd start, but we've we've got the I forgot food. Didn't bring any food at all. Sketchy. I don't have ammo. I didn't bring food or ammo. What a fucking numpty. I don't have aiders on either. What an absolute moron. Oh, look at me. I remember my stab in a potion today. Whoa. Dickhead. Well, at least we got our cannon down to get some kills for us while we were here. Good old reliable cannon. I mean, it's nice to sell our swordfish, but what I'd really like to see is those dragon stones selling. Because I did even lower them in price. Oh, another hard clue. You know I can't help myself. Okay, that's actually a very, very easy step. Because it's just a puzzle box. But Do I want to waste my time on it? When I'm probably going to get a step I can't or don't want to do. Okay, there's our dragon stones. That's some money back. That's very good. Very, very good. Wait, what? I got a man? Oh, 480 coins. I was hoping it'd be a maze. There is a trip done. I'm just going to get in another minute or two. Then pick up the cannon back to G. Or should I just go do the random clue step? It'll only take a minute, won't it? Oh no, we left the cannon there. We'll get it back. Rude. Oh, that is an insult head. Well, I managed to just fill up the looting bag there on my last trip, so I will take it. Should just about have enough time to get an offer in for a toxic blowpipe at its retail price. And there we have it, folks. We got ourselves one toxic blowpipe. Very, very big moment for the account. Can't quite equip it just yet. 
but a huge, huge piece of our intended setup for the fight caves now dealt with. And there's the hour. All right, folks. Well, 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 well. We finally have this bad boy. We can't equip it. One, because it doesn't have scales in it, which we need to buy as well. Two, because uh, we need two more range levels. I might end up hightailing it back to Scurrius, to be honest, because money's not really a thing anymore. We do want more dragon bones for prayer xp but we don't really need cash now like we've got our our full setup with this stuff if i i'm just like for demonstration purposes like yeah we've got the blowpipe but the rest the blowpipe that we can't equip just yet the rest of our gear this is what it's going to look like the only thing that could change is the amulet of glory could become a dragon bone necklace if we do manage to hit that 70 prayer side goal right now looking at the calculator we've got 62 prayer banked xp we would need probably about twice as many dragon bones to get the rest of the way so who knows we've only got 11 days left before we need to be hitting Jad in the face. But that toxic blowpipe is such a huge, huge thing to have done now. Honestly, couldn't be feeling better about the progress we've made today. We made about a mil and then spent it all on this. And what's even cooler? In fact, I'm gonna take the time to do this right now. I know my time has run out, but I'm not counting this as a gameplay action because... It's not. We're just gonna mosey on down to castle walls. You'll see what I mean in a sec. See what I mean in a sec. There's nothing dodgy going on here, I promise. That sounded way more dodgy than I meant it to. Genuinely nothing dodgy going on here. This is not actual gameplay. Oh, I wonder what this guy wants. What, can I help bro? Ooh, look at that, there's four mil on the floor. We now have ourselves a blazing blowpipe that we still can't equip. Let's go. Okay, so don't worry, I am never selling that four mil. Uh, I can, like, dismantle this. And this, this is worth four mil on the GE. But, like, I'm never selling this, this is never leaving the account. Uh, it's a cosmetic upgrade for those who don't know that comes from the Trailblazer Reloaded League. Uh, I participated in that, came just out, just shy of top 500. You can check out my series on it if you haven't already. This series actually has more views than that one, which is crazy to me, but yeah. I have the ornament kit and I don't actually have a blowpipe on my Iron Man, so I thought, fuck it. If this is going to be like my first blowpipe since I've had access to this kit... I'm putting the ornament kit on it. I don't care if it's technically cheating. It's only a cosmetic thing anyway, so it's not really cheating at all. And yes, now we have our blazing blowpipes. That will be the end of this video. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone. And I hope you are continuing to enjoy the series. We've made some sick progress today, which is awesome to see. And tomorrow we will be... Being a broke ass bitch, but a broke ass bitch with a toxic blowpipe. A blazing blowpipe. Until then, look after yourself, be lovely to one another, and I will see you on the next one.